Hello, this is Overlord Boat, and today we'll be talking about the top 20 rec ships I would recommend you buy if you're a beginner, and of course these are premium ships. Now the prices for these ships we're not going to show because it, of course different regions have different prices, so we'll be talking about each individual ship and you'll have to look at the ship prices yourself to figure that out and of course if you have a question you want to ask about them or the price and you tell me your server down below in the comments i'll do more i'll be more than likely uh, i'll be more than happy to tell you that information down below so we're gonna start this off also remember that we'll be time stamping this down below uh so if you're looking for a particular dd cruiser battleship or carrier that will be timestamp for you to make it easier for you. So let's start it off with the kid. So the kid is a US tier 8 premium destroyer. She is pretty comparable to a Benson. Her main gimmick is that she trades one torpedo tube, a torpedo rack for a heal. So that makes her more survivable. She also carries more AA than a typical destroyer. So she is effective against both destroyers and aircraft relatively speaking. So, one of my recommended is the Otnik, or better known as the War Canoe. This ship has 12 torpedoes, which is insane for it being a tier five. They have a very quick reload, short distance of 4.5. It has a total of seven guns on this ship, and they have a long reload, but they do an insane amount of damage for the tier so I would highly recommend this ship it's not very it's not the most maneuverable due to this fact it's a super long canoe pretty much but this ship just speaks Russian bias with how much damage it does pertaining to the torpedoes and the guns so as a meme ship and if you're looking for good credits and a nice little commander grind to help you get the more commander XP I'd recommend this for the Russian DD line for the T-61, this ship will be going away in 10.5, which is in June. So definitely get this ship. This ship is for the Germans, is very, very, very... It's one of the most highly recommended ships on this list. I talked about this in one of my recent inf informative vid videos, talking about how in 10.5 certain ships are being removed. This ship has amazing guns and amazing torpedo tubes with the very quick torpedoes, good damage, very good concealment for the ship, very nice all-around destroyer, highly recommend it as a good buy, good credit grinder, and also a good commander grinder. And it's also a great for beginners, helps teach you how to play this particular line of DDs. And now for the Cossack. So Cossack is a British tier 8 uh, destroyer. She Similar to Kid, she compares most favorably to Lightning. She carries more guns in exchange for less torpedo power. But she also has her guns combined with the low detection of 5.5 means that she is the most effective anti-destroyer destroyer in the game. She lends herself particularly well to ranked, where destroyer killing the destroyer is a very common path to victory. The tier 6 Anshin is very similar to the to the Fushin that's in the Pan-Asian tree and the tier 6 Gnevni. The difference is that uh, she has 8km torpedo tubes and is fairly well rounded. The main reason I recommend her is because she has a special free XP modifier that gives you additional free XP even compared to other premium ships. The Tier 7 Haida is a Commonwealth Destroyer, and is also a high, another highly recommended destroyer. She will be removed in the uh, by 10.5, so if you're a fan of a Canadian ship, she is a excellent pick. Uh, in ranked, she is one of the best Tier 7 destroyers, owing to her ability to take, owing to her Tier 8-like concealment and ability to kill other destroyers. Uh, the, tier, the Tier 8 Japanese Atago is one of the oldest premiums in the game, and yet she is still commonly no, uh, seen as one of the best premiums available to the Japanese. She, you can think of her like a 203 Mogami, but instead of that, but instead she has a heal as well, 
She trades a little bit of gun power for that, and her torpedo firing angles are slightly different. Regardless, she is a very versatile ship, and surprisingly beginner friendly. Like, she will blow up if she's broadside, but at the same time, she has a relatively thin stern, so sometimes shells do go by without, uh, will overpen her without uh, causing damage, uh, causing pen damage. So up next is the Molotov. So the Molotov is a tier 6 Russian cruiser for, for, of course, the Russians. This ship has very good guns, has a Donskoy level guns on a tier 6 ship is very, very strong. Its downside is the ship is very explosive. You do have to play this like the light cruiser line, which is the Dovesky line. It pretty much matches that play style exactly. So it's more likely that you're going to have to place things in the kiting position. Don't don't be aggressive in this thing. This is a good trainer for the light cruiser line. So it's a good credit grinder for it along with the free XP and with the commander. It's a perfect fit for that. And so we're on to the next ship. The German tier 8 Prince Eugen is a, it's a recommended cruiser. She surprisingly compares close to Otago. She has better survivability owing to her better protected citadel, and she also is one of the few tier 8 cruisers with heals. So in the end, she is a very survivable cruiser, and probably the most durable of all of the tier 8s. In exchange, her guns are relatively slow loading with uh, poor AG shells, characteristic of the German heavy cruiser line, really. So she is a durable She's a durable ship with less firepower. Still, I would recommend her for beginners because she is uh, more forgiving than most of the other ships that we are, we've suggested. So the Tier 5 Exeter is a British heavy cruiser. She's a good trainer for the up... She's a good trainer and maybe a for uh, how the heavy cruiser operates. The special part about her is that she's one of the few cruisers with two or three guns at tier 5. That allows her to overmatch most cruiser bows since they carry, I believe, 13 millimeters of armor. She does have some citadel weaknesses, being very easy to hit, but otherwise she is a otherwise a solid ship. The French, the tier 6 French the French cruiser de Grasse is is a light cruiser. She is a somewhat uh, decent ship for her tier. She's she has access to speed boost and she's a decent all-around ship. Unfortunately, the French don't have too many good ships for premiums that are easy for newer players, but the Gras is one of those ships that's fairly easy to pick up and is representative of the line. If you're thinking about a French a French ship that you need to captain retraining, she is a decent option. All right, so for the for battleships, well, for the for the following, so this is the tier two Mikasa, the tier two for the Japanese. Now this ship is very cheap for what it is. It's the only tier two battleship in the game, so it's technically the best tier two battleship in the game. It has decent armor for the tier. It's very meme worthy. This ship is meant for shits and giggles with your friends or by yourself. You're supposed to build this ship more into secondaries just for the whole meme of it. For its price, the ship just gives you it gives you a lot of credits for the tier. And it also gives you an okay amount of commander XP and free XP since it is a premium. So those two bonus those three bonuses put together and the fact that this thing is super meme-y, I would highly recommend this ship just for just for the shits, because of how much fun it is. I love playing this ship just for the memes of it. It's it's, it's so much fun, I love it. So for the tier eight battleships, I would recommend the uh, uh, Alabama for the American battleship line. This is a very good crew trainer for the Montana and also for the Vermont if you plan on going down that line. It's a very, very, very good credit grinder. Alabama makes you a lot of credits. It's also really good for commander training and also helping you train uh, helping you get used to the line before you go down to the Montana. So it's good for training you as a beginner on how to play battleships and also it's good for credits. 
and commander XP and free XP, which all which you all need. You need all three if you're a beginner. You need to get as much of that as possible, as fast as possible. And for its price, I think it's a pretty good deal as well. So for Russian bias, we have the Ulk Resolucia, which I know I'm saying wrong, so I apologize. This ship is very tanky for its tier, and its guns are super accurate as well. So as a tier 5, it's very strong, has very good anti-air for its tier. For its tier 5, so it's very good anti-air. The guns are accurate, has good health, has good heal. It's, it's just a well around a very strong vessel for its tier. And you know, since Russian biased, you know, it has to be good. So the Lenin, which is being removed in 10.5, this is my personal top recommended ship out of all all the 20 ships here the Lenin is by far the strongest ship i believe in this list it has the all-around good durability great guns good anti-air good heal um very tanky against he the ship overall is a great buy it's being removed in 10.5 so which is in june so make sure you get this ship Highly recommended. Very good crew trainer for the tier 10 Russian BB line. You, you'll earn high amounts of XP and credits every match you play in this thing. As long as, you know, you actually do a decent amount of damage around above 80k. Like above 70, maybe uh, 65, 80k. You'll, you'll make a good decent amount of money in credits. Credits and XP and free XP. Like, you'll make all the good stuffs. Highly recommended. I can't speak more highly about this ship. The Len is just so much. I love playing this ship. So, next one. The Sean Horse. So, the Sean Horse is... It's a decent ship. It has... It's a. It's one of the few battleships in this game that has torpedoes. Let's see here. The torpedoes are... They are triple tube torpedoes. I just made a double check that. It has very good armor for its tier. The guns are more of a battle cruiser. So just think of it as like a as a pretty much tank as a tankier cruiser. Very maneuverable. Very it's very strong. The problem is if it goes in the tier nines and eights, of course, the guns aren't gonna be able to handle because the guns are 283s. So those are okay for tier sevens and below. But if this ship goes into tier 8 and 9, it's going to have a lot of trouble dealing with that. Overall, though, great crew trainer for the German BP line, of course. Good crew trainer. Uh, it's a very easy ship to get into and just play, have fun, mean with the secondaries that are on it. Highly, highly recommend this one as well. Great for the Germans. So for the final battle, oh, sorry, not for the final, my bad. The War Spite, it's been around for a very long time. Now, there is a lot of websites. I don't know where they are or which ones you are, but you can get links by um, just looking around to get a free war spite if you're just starting out a brand new account or if you enter a code when you first start playing the game by a friend and friend invites you, you can get this ship for free once you hit a certain tier. So this ship, you don't even have to buy. You can literally just get a new account if, you, if you've... Uh, if you haven't played the game yet, or if you try to go on a different server, just, you know, get a friend to invite you, and once you hit a certain tier, and bambo, you got yourself a free war spite. On this ship, the of course, it has the, the British HE, which is super strong, high damage, good fire chance, has a good heal, good DCP, good armor for tier 6, and plus, since this ship is perfectly aligned with the playstyle, of the British battleships. Of course, it's going to be a great commander grinder for the Conqueror. Very good for that. Highly recommend it. Good credit making as well, potential, which everyone needs at this point because you're trying to buy it. You're trying to buy all those new ships. You're trying to buy. You're trying to retrain your captains, which costs credit, so that's always a pain, etc., etc. We all know that. So, Dunkirk is they i couldn't find too many good bbs for the french so the dunkirk is the best one i could recommend the dunkirk is a tier six has occasionally decently guns they're 330s they're pretty good for the tier has occasionally armor it's a lot of fun to play very maneuverable has occasionally decent anti-air 
But yeah, for its price and for the fact you can use as a trainer for your uh, Republic line for the French, it's a very good ship for that. So I would this this is uh, this is like the the French had a they don't have too many good premiums that I would recommend highly of just like the DeGrasse because I don't I don't know why but the French are on the short list of good a uh, good beginner ships. So the Dunkirk is what I recommend for beginners. So now we'll talk about the Kaga and the Lower Heart with SAT. So there aren't many carriers to start with, and the few carriers that we do have are generally not very beginner friendly or just not good. So I would only recommend two. Kaga is is one of the one of these two. Japanese tier eight premium CV has very good torpedo bombers although the rockets and dive bombers are lacking but her most notable gimmick is just having a huge reserve of bombers you can literally throw wave after wave at the enemy and not worry about your reserves for Lohenhardt, she's a german tier 6 premium carrier she is also scheduled to be removed in 10.5 her claim to fame is having very fast pla fast planes for her tier having extremely powerful HE dive bombers. If you're a if you're a carrier main and like playing carriers, then Lowenheart is one of the strongest options available at the lower tiers, especially because she can dominate everything so easily with her dive bombers and broadside cruisers with her rockets. Yep, so that would be the top 20 premium ships that me and SAT score would recommend to beginners. All of these are good money makers. All these are good trainers. These are not the, these are all for beginners. There are more ships we recommend for more advanced players, but this is this series of purchases or these ships are more for the beginner players that need like kind of a stepping stone into the more higher skill ships. So again, is there anything else you want to add SAT score or do you think this is it? Well, always make sure to do the research uh, before you purchase those ships. We've gone over the brief idea of the of how these ships of work and why Rick we recommend it, but make sure you take take a closer look before you buy it. Buy these ships. Yep, I kind of said it better. But yeah, thank you so much for your time at SAT score. If you guys have any questions down below, make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you like the video. I'll see you guys next time, and I'll talk to y'all later. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like and leave a comment down below. I always love reading your guys' comments. It's greatly appreciated. Blah!